Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so that a stage critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. And as I hinted in my last review, today I'm going to be reviewing all of the other reindeer. This is one of those Christmas uh, specials that is really under the radar. Most people don't give it the respect it deserves. I personally liked it, and I watched it growing up. And here's a little uh, fact that you might figure out and pick up right away when you see the credits. This was made by the same person who came up with The Simpsons. That's right, Matt Groening has put his handprints all over this wonderful Christmas special. Which I can't believe because you never would have thought that he would do something as childish as this. But it actually works out. So, can Olive Stump... Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer to become the most popular reindeer of all time? Well, he tries anyway. Let's delve into all of the other reindeer. See, there it is, Matt Groening right off the bat. Now, I believe I remember seeing this Christmas special on Cartoon Network when I first saw it. This might have been on Fox, too. And if that's the case, Fox, you deserve all the credit you deserve. Oh, yeah, that's right. Drew Barrymore's in this one. Yeah, if you remember the Nostalgia Critics review of Babes in Toyland, that involved a young Drew Barrymore. She ultimately grew up and was the voice of all of the other reindeer. So with that out of the way, let's keep on rolling. Written by Steve Young. No, not the legendary quarterback of the 49ers, for those who are confused. And that's Olive. She is actually a dog. But see, this is where crappy cartoon design pays off in this instance because it makes her look like a reindeer. I like it. This is the one time where shitty cartoon graphic actually pays off. Here's how Olive solves the problem. Tana, a car scented tree. Wait a minute, it's on you. Wait a minute, this costs money. What does she do in her spare time? Uh oh. That's the evil mailman. He's the villain in this movie. Rolex, Rolex, genuine Rolex, ten bucks. I didn't know Rolex had three exits. Typographical error, fact me second. Genuine Rolex, ten bucks. Typographical error or Why does it all say city? A scam! I used to work there. The office supplies were my seventh package when I uh left to pursue other opportunities. You mean you were fired? Fired? They beg me not to go. Now come on, buy a watch. Mm, I don't know. Huh. Okay, okay. I'm a victim of oppressive corporate bureaucracy. That you are. Yeah, they fired me. I was a hard-working entrepreneur. Smuggling in junk food. Dirty magazines. Files hidden inside... Dirty magazines, huh? How dirty were they? Why are we even talking about this on a Christmas special that's meant for children? Hey, whose legs you have to hunt to get a dry martini around here? What the hell kind of a name of a penguin is Martini? First of all, they're real Rolex. Second, I was giving them as a Christmas gift to my dear old friend Olive. Right, Olive? That's right. Thanks, Martini. I'm watching you, penguin. Don't forget it. These people walk weird. I guess it must be because of the graphic. Oh, so much for Christmas gift. Yes, cheapskate. Oh, this is Olive's owner, by the way. Where were you, Olive? It's late. It's not late. It's... Huh? How are your dog chores coming? Did you bury any bones today? No, Tim. Wait a minute. I didn't know dogs had chores. Did you even make a token attempt to tear a 
I thought they were supposed to, you know, be man's best friend. I didn't know they had to do any chores. This man is rude. I don't know how you can call yourself a dog, Olive. Come on, Tim. You know I'm not for that silly stuff. I've tried to be man's best friend by being your best friend, haven't I? Yeah, yeah we'll get with the program, Olive, and start acting like a dog. Why the hell is his nose shaped like a fucking wiener? I'm sorry I have to bring this up for a kid special, but his nose is shaped like a fucking wiener, and oh, by the way, his evidence are fucking screwed. Did you do your dog chores? Well, I don't care if you're my man's best friend and you're trying to be nice to me. You're supposed to do your fucking dog chores. What a cruel, sick, twisted little man. Shouldn't you be happy that Olive is giving you the love and respect that you deserve? You don't deserve that crap if you're going to be rude to him back. Or her. I don't know which. Because, well, the dog is voiced like a girl. So, I don't know. If it's a he or a she. All I know is that dog deserves some respect and you are not giving it to the dog. Oh, by the way, he has a friend who's a flea. All of a sudden, ever since he was Tiny Tim has loved Christmas. Tiny Tim! Oh, I get it. I don't know why. Are you still going to give him the slippers? Yeah, I probably should have chewed them first. He's still going to make Tim a gift. The nicest dog in the whole wide world. Out of slippers! I mean, out of tape! Damn advertisements! Hey! What is it? High pitch sound only I can hear. Forget it. Tonight on Fox, the world's wildest mistletoe accidents. What? Tapping our top story. Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas Eve flight. What? No! None of this crap again! No! 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 Santa cannot cancel. He's got to carry on. Obviously, this is where Olive pitches in and today, during a practice flight, takes off. In time. Oh, no! Santa had this to say. Ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. See, 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 the fleek. But if not, not. Merry Christmas anyway. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? No, he said all of the other reindeer, as in A-L-L space O-F. But sadly, the flea's going to lure Olive into going into the North Pole and try and save the day. He did... Well, you get the rest. All right, let's proceed, shall we? So Olive goes on a quest to the North Pole. With Alba Martini. And away they go! Whee! No. 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 Serves you right, you evil mailman. Thanks, Seriously, what kind of a mailman is evil around this time of year? What do you think, evil pills this morning? Blitzen! See, and this is what happens when you don't have a wiener-shaped nose. You have no nose at all. So either your nose is wiener-shaped or you don't have a nose at all. Gotta love the cartoon animation. Isn't this exciting? That's the bus driver who is a friend of Olive's. What the hell? Hey, are you going to the North Pole? Oh, the North Pole metropolitan area. We were vacationing down here. The 40 degree temperatures were fun for a while, but it'll be nice to get home. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Oh, sure. They're really big. He meets a Dorks. nice I'm couple ready. that are just coming back from vacation and, and are heading back to the North Pole. And a magnificent answer. So, how's it going, eh? Oh, you know about Santa Claus? Oh, yes, indeed we do. In fact, we live there. We're just coming back from a vacation because the weather was so nice and warm. Oh, that's awesome. Do tell me more. Well, it appears that Santa Claus has a bunch of reindeer, and apparently one of them is not named Rudolph, eh? It's weird, isn't it? 
I know, because Rudolph is the most popular reindeer of them all, so I've heard. I just suddenly know exactly what to do. Yeah, like the time I suddenly had no brakes going down the mountain road. So they get stuck in a cafe and guess who disguises himself as the uh, waitress? The evil mailman. Uh oh. Olive, it's a trap! Okay, so apparently you can have a nose that's not wiener shaped. I don't know why the hell Tim was wiener shaped. In any case, the mailman captures Olive and prisons him in the mail truck. Oh, goody! Hey, are you gonna get rid of that lip balm? That just did not go well with you. Why the hell does he hate Christmas in the first place? He's more of a Scrooge than Tim is to Olive. Because he partly doesn't want Christmas to come, period, and Tim just doesn't like the fact that... I hate you, and I hope you never come again. Stay home. Love, Bobby. Strange. Who's Bobby? Ooh. To Olive from Deus Ex Machina. Oh, don't tell me. Is this from Martini? Apparently so, because it allowed him to escape. What is that, anyways? A nail file or something? Hey! 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 Wait! Too late. He's gonna have to walk all the way back. Oh, goody, the lovely, because you can't go wrong with voicemail. I'm sorry, but the number you have reached is unavailable. Please call back at another time. What? I, this is an important person here telling you that the mailman is evil. You need to get this on the line ASAP. Goodbye. Ah, more movie. Hey, wait a minute. How come Olive and Martini can't freaking go in? So they end up going to a bar, which conveniently holds reindeer and elves, but mostly reindeer. Oh, and some pissed off Bugs Bunny wannabe. <laughs> well, that pretty much killed the mood. Of course he can't fly. What a stupid question is that? Oh, can I fly? Well, I'm a dog. Can't I can't fly? What a dumbass question that is. Hey! It's a miracle. We found another flying reindeer and Christmas is back on again. Sarcasm, obviously, folks, if you don't get it. Please, just let me. Hey, let's take up to the roof and see how she flies. Oh, no. Hey, stop being a bully! She's just trying to help you! Or he. Mr. Briefcase? God, these guys are a bunch of jerks. You know, if Christmas were on, these people would get a bunch of coal for Christmas. This is horrible. Help us out of the mutt. Your only hope. People out there who want to cancel Christmas. Are you on their side? Uh, ah, look at that. I was finally getting to those jerks. He's our only hope for a Merry Christmas. Seriously, we need to get Olive's phone number. Maybe we can bring some spirit up here.
Exactly. Olive is teaching everyone the true meaning of Christmas. Thank you very much, Olive. Sorry, kitties, another get this in your hand type deal, just like with the Charlie Brown. But seriously, it's not all about the gifts. It's about earning them. Which technically you can do. But just because you get the gifts that you earn doesn't mean you have to stop doing this nice stuff. You got to do it year round. That's the message. So, oh no, no more singing, no more singing, no more singing, I hate singing. So they find a bus to, hey, wait a minute, there's already a Polar Express, and it's a train. This is a stupid snow plow machine. Wait a minute, what the hell did that sign say? North Pole 20 miles, but what else did it say? We shall find out right now, as they exit the Arctic Junction in Bar, and head to the North Pole, which is 20 miles away. Later removal, next two miles, courtesy of Quad Noop 9AP. Oh, it's Gap, that looked like a 9. Later removal! What is that, the Kitty Cat's Pit Stop? Time to get to either head into the North Pole and they can't get in. What a shock. So the elf let him in. So as you can see, Martini tricked the elf to letting uh, Olive in. Mailman, get here! Special delivery for children's letters to Santa. Oh, we all know what this is gonna be. It's another trap. Let's do the press conference, boss, and hope for. There's Santa Claus. This, I'm assuming, is Mrs. Claus. That voice sounds familiar. Why does that voice sound familiar? I gotta figure out who this voice is. You know what? Let's do some research, shall we? Let's go online and figure out who did the voice of Santa Claus. And maybe we can figure out a connection. Let's see, let's see. Edward Asner. Oh, it says here that he later reprised the role in the live-action film Elf and the stop-motion film Elf's Bunny Musical Christmas. It all makes sense! Kind of like when John Goodman did Santa for the shitty-ass Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie and ultimately reprised his role in the SpongeBob Christmas special. Not the first one, the more recent one. In any case... Now that that's out of the way, no. No. Olive comes in and says, Hey, I'm your other reindeer that can save the day. Sadly, you're not a reindeer. You're a dog, but... Everybody knows you're not a reindeer. Though I admire the courage of saying that. Right. I heard you on the radio. We always get the crazies on Christmas Eve. Hey! This is no crazy! This little dog is gonna save your Christmas, damn it! So you need to be nice to him. She's becoming the Rudy for Reindeer. Seriously, have you seen Rudy? That is arguably one of the greatest sport movies of all time. Alright! 
So what about that press conference? Because you wasted everyone's time getting up here. Ah, so they do do the news after all. Hey, look, a Hanukkah candle at the top of this house. So I guess Santa Claus must like celebrating Hanukkah too. Oh, uh, Martini's giving an interview. Meanwhile, the mailman is out and about again. What's he up to this time? Oh, Jesus. Oh, and how come the TV's in black and white? This is 1999, for God's sakes. He's on every channel! You heard it right, folks. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is an urban legend in this special. Hence, there's no such thing as Rudolph. I, for one, disagree with this urban legend. Rudolph is a real reindeer. Have you not seen the Christmas specials beforehand? Clearly, this guy did not read the Christmas specials. He just followed the line because apparently they don't believe in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Look, she's already struggling. We haven't even gotten out of here. Ooh. Hey, does someone want to give her a helping hand? Ooh, this is going to be close. It's like in speed. Ooh, they're going to make it. She's flying! It's a miracle! Wow. I'm flying! Unorthodox style, but hey, whatever works for you. You had me worried for a minute there, though. Are we good to go? Vomit? Oh, oh, oh. Did he just say vomit? I swear to God, he just said vomit! He meant to say comment! I think he did say comment, but it kind of sounded like vomit. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right, what does the man man up to this time? Uh-oh. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, that's right, he captured Martini, and now they're going to try and stop him. Indeed you are. Boom. Now he's going to try and swerve him off the damn truck. God, how evil can you get? Hey, how about let's free Martini first before he keeps bouncing around? So he tries to steer the truck with one foot while trying to grab all of the other reindeer. Meanwhile, this allows Martini to plot his escape. It's a struggle. It's a battle. It's of epic proportion. Who's going to win? Oh, that was cheap. The mailman pushed him out. And apparently he's scared by a jack-in-the-box. Of course, I heard Buddy was scared of it, too, kind of. This caused the mailman to hit the door, faint, and the truck goes off course, and thus the presents and Martini are saved. Was that you or your stunt double? Ah, oh, go on. Are you okay, Martini? <laughs> so he gets saved, and then you know the rest. It's time to deliver the goodies to all the good little boys and girls. Hey, I will give them credit. They do a good job with the main attractions like the London Clock, Tower, Sydney Opera Theater, the Pope, 
Oh great, he's got a wiener nose too. He got a Philly head. A Philly head? Oh, don't tell me that the Pope is a fan of Philadelphia. They go to Tokyo. Guess who's in Tokyo? Some giant ass alien and what we appear to believe is Godzilla. And it's off to Paris. Hey, I'll give them credit. They did a wonderful job with the Eiffel Tower. Hey, look, it's the Hunchback of Notre Dame. With a back scratcher. Because you know that hump can get itchy at times. They reach Olive's home. Where Martini magically drives the mail truck back in a heartbeat. The Zzz. I don't know how the hell you pronounce the last name. There's too many Zs. Say, she's barking. Is it just games that have the word reindeer in it, or do you literally have reindeer games? Because we've gone through this before. What's wrong with the Arctic fog? I'm sorry, but we're lost in the fog. Could you smell us home? Mrs. Claus is making cookies. Cookies? Mm. See, now this is where Olive comes at an advantage. You know dogs, once they smell something, they go after it. So once she picked up the scent, they're able to get home to the North Pole. And there they are, the cookies! Cookies by the boatload! Mmm, gingerbread. Oh. Sure. Comment the other dog. Meaning that he's honored that Olive saved the day. Oh, wow. Blitz it. That voice sounds familiar again. Wait a minute, they're staff and crew? Why don't you just say elves and reindeer? Oh, I wonder what it could be. Oh, antlers! Now she really is a reindeer! Excuse me, what kind of cappuccino has marshmallows and causes you to twitch? Did you leave crack in the freaking cappuccino? Cause who, how else could you have gone? Look, it's Martini. Martini, you helped save Christmas. Hey, look, it's the animals of Madagascar. You don't think this kind of hinted what ultimately became Madagascar? The monkeys. Oh boy. I wonder who that could be. Could it be? Yes, the evil mailman is now a penguin. Yeah, that's right. You're never going to get out of there, you stupid evil mailman. That's your punishment to justice. Tim wakes up and discovers that his own dog saved Christmas. See, now Tim's happy. Olive got to him after all. Yay! And everybody lives happily ever after. 
And look, opposable thumbs. I don't know why you need opposable thumbs, but... A martini becomes the new mailman, while the old mailman, once evil, now is a penguin that gets... Ooh, fish. Yeah, that's what you get for being so fucking evil, you bastard. Hey, the slippers! I thought he... I thought they were made out of tape, but I guess not. A football! A drill! Seriously, it says a drill. I wonder if that's the name of the company. Santa's snoozing through eggnog while the football game is on. Might be the Super Bowl. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and the reindeer end up attached on the doghouse. So there you go. And if you needed a reminder, Matt Groening had his footprints all over this special. So there you go. There's all of the other reindeer. In my opinion, this is one of the under-the-radar under Christmas specials that you definitely need to take a look at because this Christmas special is really good. I know it's not as great as, say, the Santa Clauses or the Christmas stories in the world, but this one still teaches you the true meaning of Christmas, and it's a nice, fun in, in, uh, atmosphere for the kiddies to enjoy. It's entertaining. It's very colorful. It's very lifelike. The uh, voices were really, really good. I think this is a very, very good Christmas special. Not going to put that up there as the best of all time, but it's one of the better ones, and I think you should definitely take a look at it. And if you don't happen to find it, Dino Disco did have this video up on YouTube, and he's had it up for over a year now, so if you get a chance, check it, check it out on his channel. He gets credit for showing the video. Matt Groening and 20th Century Fox obviously get credit for producing this. Just so I can avoid the copyright stuff. I'm giving credit. This is not for monetary purposes, man, Grinning. Though I will commend you. You did one hell of a Christmas special. And this proves that you're more than just the Simpsons. You can do Christmas stuff for kitties too. So, I'm glad that you all enjoyed Olive the Other Reindeer. And now, you might be wondering, what is going to be my next Christmas review? Well, there's plenty that I could do. Oh, I don't know. Maybe like, ooh, maybe the Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah. Let's do the Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. Muppet Christmas Carol. That'll be my next review. Wait, what? You're saying that there's no Muppet Christmas Carol online? Ugh, I hate Disney. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if there's no Christmas Carol, then what the hell Christmas Carol am I going to do? No, 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 the music, oh, I don't like where this is going, ah! Oh. Stay tuned as I review a Christmas Carol the Musical from 2004. I'm the Commander Zaner, and I don't think I'm looking forward to this review. But most of all, I remember it's a little disturbing, and I'm doing neither should you!